we're talking about inverters. So inverters take power from a DC source and convert the power and supply it to an AC load. And here you can see we have a setup of some DC source. This could be a photovoltaic panel, a battery, or anything else that's as long as it's DC. And it delivers it to our load. Here we have a load of Valerie as our AC load. But you could use, for example, an AC motor, a synchronous motor. Those are very common AC loads. So if we want to take a DC load, here's a battery and positive and negative and it's here on our DC source side, just to show the polarity. So here's our power source, and we want to deliver the power from this battery to Valerie. But Valerie needs positive and negative because she's an AC load. We only have this one voltage, so in essence what we want to do is have positive to negative for a little bit and then switch it, so positives on the bottom and negatives on the top, and then keep switching it around. So when it's positive to negative, Valerie is getting some positive voltage. And then when we switch it, Valerie is getting some negative voltage going positive to negative here, so negative voltage. And we would keep switching that back and forth as much as we need to to supply the power appropriately to our AC load. This would be really hard to physically move a battery around or whatever your DC source is for your AC load. So we use the inverter. The inverter consists of lots of little switches and we'll talk about two topologies, the half bridge and the full bridge inverter. And in here you use switches to essentially take your DC source and switch it positive and negative so that your AC load will see those different voltages. So one way you can draw this as a really general symbol is to do a DC to an AC. And there you have the basics for your inverter of taking power from a DC source, like a battery, to an AC load like Valerie.